Hey y'all, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about every single fragrance I've worn over the past week. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Hi, my name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing, and if you are a returning subscriber, Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I know the background is different. I'm sitting outside cause I'm multitasking, okay? I'm watching my kid play <laughs> and I'm filming this little portion of the video. So if you've never seen one of these videos from me, basically they are very relaxed, hence I'm sitting outside. <laughs> but um, generally I keep these very relaxed and I do them vlog style. And I basically just come on as I'm spraying a fragrance for the day and let you guys know why I chose it, a little bit about it. And then at the end of the video, I'll tell you guys my standout fragrances for the week. Now, the last time I did one of these videos, I did pop some notes up on the screen and I asked for your feedback to see if that is necessary for you all. And it seems like a lot of you all said no. So for the purpose of these videos and to keep them very relaxed and very chill, I will not be sharing the notes, but I will of course describe to you how the fragrance smells to me and I will link all the fragrances down below. So if you're interested, definitely check out my description box. So let's go ahead and get into this week's fragrances. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So I know I don't usually show my face in these portions of the video. However, I kind of want to explain to you what my theme is for this week. So this week I decided to go in sections of my collection and usually I kind of split my shelves. You'll understand more when I show y'all, but usually I kind of split my shelves into threes. This time we're going Look. by shelf. Okay, cool. This time we're going by shelf and fragrance tray. So I'm gonna flip y'all around real quick and we're going to explain like what the theme will be this week. So each time I wear a fragrance, I am going to pick for a particular section. So I'm gonna show you guys my section. So this first section is my fragrance tray. Now this is my monthly fragrance tray. So this is actually my first section for the week. However, I am allowed that if I don't find anything in my chosen section of that day, that will fit whatever occasion. I am also allowed to pick from my fragrance tray because that's what it's here for you Also, First section is my fragrance tray. And then we're gonna go into my collection. Now normally I start up there, which I actually have an extra shelf since the last time y'all saw in here because clearly I have a problem buying fragrances. Anyway, <laughs> normally I start on this side and I go in like three. So let me zoom y'all in so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me go to a lower shelf, that'll be easier. All right, so like normally I go in threes of each shelf. However, now since I have more shelves, I'm actually gonna go just like per shelf. Hopefully this makes sense. You'll It'll make sense as we go along. Usually I also start on this side, but because I always start on this side, I am going to start on the opposite side. So let me show y'all. So this is the other side of my collection and y'all have seen this section before. However, up there, I recently, <laughs> let me try to zoom y'all in. So it's kind of hard to see because I'm not on my ladder right now, but normally I would be on my ladder if I'm getting um, it down. I have a closet ladder. Anyway, I did add that little tray up there of all my Middle Eastern fragrances. They actually will fit in my collection, but I am trying to test them out. So I wanted to put them all together. So that's why that's up there. So actually like the next fragrance I wear will be from that section, will be from that section. And then we'll go here to this shelf. So if y'all back out. Then we'll go here to this shelf and then this shelf and so on and so forth. And that'll be for every single time I wear a fragrance, except my exception is if there's nothing that I find on that particular shelf for that particular occasion, which I doubt because I'm doing a whole shelf. But if so, I can always go to my fragrance tray. And if it's for exercise, let me show y'all my other section. All right, so this is a section I've showed y'all here before for like um, gym scents, very light skin scents, and then like travel sprays. So we're not gonna worry about that. Um, and then in the back there, I do have like some layering fragrances, like gourmand layering fragrances. So if I'm going to work out, I am welcome to choose from this section because honestly, like I can't wear every single fragrance to work out. And so I just give myself that leeway. Of course, I will try to choose from each shelf. <laughs> This is sounding confusing, but I promise it's not that much, not that confusing. Um, but anyway, each day I will try to go from each shelf first. And then if not, then I'll either choose something from my fragrance tray or from my gym workout section here. So now that we got all of that out of the way, 
this is my fragrance tray and my first section happy sunday again so my first section um i actually didn't go to church today it's a little bit later in the day i just have not been feeling good i might have to go to the doctor tomorrow because i was feeling better and now i'm not feeling good again but um so i didn't spray on fragrance immediately after i took a shower because i just wasn't feeling it but when i felt a little bit better i did go ahead and spray on some fragrance for today and the fragrance that i ended up choosing is metalique from Tom Ford. So I talk about Metalik a lot. It's a vanilla scent, but it has aldehydes in it. So it has this nice contrast of warm vanilla with cold, fresh aldehydes. Really enjoy this. And it's almost empty, which is why it's on this tray. <clears throat> but anyway, I decided to go for Metalik today because even though I'm feeling a little bit better than I was this morning, I still didn't want anything strong. So yeah, that's why I decided to wear that for today. Hey y'all, it's Sunday night and tonight I'm actually not wearing a fragrance because I don't feel good and I just don't feel like a fragrance is a good choice tonight. So I decided to just use a Smell Good body cream or body butter and this is the Bergamot Jasmine Body Butter from Brooklyn Dream. It is a shea butter based body cream. So yeah, this is what I am wearing for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Monday. So my fragrance for today is Shagaf Utanka. This is a new scent for me. This is a, from what I can smell, like a almondy, tonka, vanilla, kind of Play-Doh-ish smelling scent. Um, yeah, my section today is this section here, which is all my Middle Eastern fragrances. And I decided to go for this one because it seemed like it would be the least offensive out of all of them. I'm actually getting ready to go to the doctor and not feeling very well. Um... So yeah, I went for this because I didn't think it would bother me. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's a Monday night and tonight I was feeling like something vanilla. So I mixed in this vanilla musk body oil with my lotion. This is my first time using it. I found this at TJ Maxx, but basically it seems to be just a lightweight vanilla that's not too gourmand. I figured it would pair well with the fragrance that I decided to wear tonight. So this was my section for tonight, my shelf for tonight. And so I decided to go for Mani Katana from Navitas Parfums and Sharita M. This is a <clears throat> vanilla, but it has like this woodiness to it. It has a bit of smokiness to it. it has something sweet, like uh, maybe brown sugar or something to that effect. Um, some sort of different type of sweet sugariness to it. It's beautiful. And yeah, I didn't know what I was going to wear. But this one, when I looked at my shelf, just said, hey, wear me today. So yeah, this is what I went for. Because I was kind of thinking about wearing manga long because I was, like I said, I was in a vanilla mood. But I decided to go for this one instead. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Hey, all happy Tuesday. So this is my shelf for today. You see a couple empty spots, but that's just because stuff is on my fragrance tray. So anyway, this is my shelf for today and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. So I decided, I looked up here to see if there's anything I would wear to the gym. And there actually are. So it's between Dior Riviera, Dior Riviera, Eden Rock from Dior and Rouge Trafalgar from Dior. And I actually think like Dior does a great job of doing some lighter scents. Um, but I decided that I am going to go with... Eden Rock. I'm feeling a little bit better today as y'all can tell so I'm actually going to work out uh, and I feel like this is just like refreshing. This is kind of what I call a expensive vacation trip which I'm not going on but you know I need to wear my fragrances okay. I, <laughs> how many vacations do I go on really? So yeah this is what I'm going to wear for today. It's kind of a salty um beachy scent but not beachy and the normal like sunscreeny type way anyway my mind isn't working yet but this is what i'm wearing for this portion of the day hey y'all it's still tuesday i am getting ready to get dressed for the day and it's actually kind of cold today it's like the first cold-ish day we've had in weeks so um i am going to wear something strong so i think I think I decided that I am going to wear Ivory Root by Zerjoff. Y'all know I still have a cold, so I didn't want anything that's strong and sharp. But I find that this one is strong but very smooth. So <clears throat> it is a vanilla scent that is kind of incense-y. It's woody. It has these a lot of spices in it. So it's really more spice than vanilla, honestly. But they're done very, very well. And it has like a green spice in it like basil or bay leaf, one of those. And this is not one that I typically like to wear when it's um, warm. So I am happy to get another use out of this while it's still, while it's cold today. So yeah, this is what I'll be wearing for today. 
Hey y'all, so it's still Tuesday, getting ready to take my shower, <laughs> but I had to change your heart. Instead of wearing Ivy Root, I decided to wear Starlight by Zerja off still from that same show. Um, this is a cardamom balm, but not in a super spicy hard way where it's done very smoothly. It's sweet. Uh, I think it has some white florals in the background, but it is like a very cozy scent. And I was just feeling more of that vibe today. So this is what I changed my mind to and what I'm going to wear for Tuesday. And I decided to layer it over this Santal Bloom Body Oil from Saltaire. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So I realized that last night I did not come on and show you guys a fragrance that I wore. And that's because I decided not to wear a fragrance. It was late. So I just put on a scented body butter. So this is from Brooklyn Dream. And it's vanilla, honey bourbon. And that's what it smells like. So I decided to wear this last night as my scent. Uh, but it's just a body butter. Now it's Tuesday and getting ready to go to the gym and I decided to pull something from my gym sense. So this is Skylar Isle Escape. This is kind of a, a clean, um, kind of woody coconut scent. Very refreshing, very light, very spa-like. Definitely great for working out or for you know being outside. It's one of those very airy type scents. So I decided to go for this one today. It's been a while since I wore it. Hey y'all, it's still Wednesday. I just got showered and dressed for the day. I gotta be quick because I need to get out of here for an appointment. However, my fragrance section was this section today. So Amouage, Barreto, some Parfums de Marley, Fragrance du Bois. And the fragrance I decided to go for is Parle Moi de Parfum, Guimauve de Noel. This is my first time wearing this, but it's a sweet kind of sugary marshmallow scent that has a bit of a green note to it. And I decided to go for this today because I've never worn it. And I felt like... It went with the vibe of my shirt. I'm wearing a pink shirt, so I felt like this was a girly pink fragrance. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday night, and so tonight I'm starting out by applying this Boom Boom Body for Maze Oil. This is a sweet, nutty, caramel scent. All right, and my section for tonight was this shelf. So mainly like Tom Ford, some Wilhelm, some Thamine, some Indicio, uh, MFK, and Born to Stand Out. So I decided to go for this from Born to Stand Out. I'm wearing Happy Nuts. This is a sweet, nutty fragrance. So to me, it smells like a mix between like pistachio and almond and maybe a little bit of honey. It's very delicious smelling and I feel like it has like a bit of a tonka or vanilla base to it, but it's not overly sweet. Uh, it's sweet, but it's not like doing the most. And I decided to go for this because I just felt like smelling something sweet for bedtime for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. So today I started out by applying this Ginger Souffle uh, body cream from Origins. I love this stuff. I have used it off and on for probably a decade. <laughs> so yeah, I started out by applying this. And then the section of my collection that I uh, was choosing from today was this big section here. So this is a pretty big section, but I decided just to still leave it as one shelf. I probably could have split it into two, but oh well. Anyway, I decided to just leave it as one shelf. And the fragrance that I went for is this one. This is Jejambre Petulant by Atelier Versace. This is a newer fragrance to me. I featured in my last fragrance haul video. And this is actually my first time wearing it. So I'm excited to give it a try. But this is... A, a ginger amber saffron mix so think br540 but make it with warm ginger um, i really enjoy the smell of it but like i said it's my first time wearing it and i decided to go for this today because today is going to be a busy day for me i have a meeting i have eye appointments stuff like that and not necessarily fun stuff so i really wanted something that was energizing and uplifting and i find that ginger does that for me so that's why i decided to go for this fragrance for today Hey y'all, it's Thursday night and tonight my section is going to be this uh, like cupcake tray here and then this little tray here. Um, so these two is what counts up for my section for tonight. Um, so the fragrance I'm going to wear tonight is Caramel Oud by Theodorus Calatinis. This will actually be my first time wearing this. This is a newer fragrance to me, so I have never worn it. But it is a oud and caramel scent, but it's warm. It doesn't, it seems kind of sweet. It doesn't really seem too heavy. So yeah, this is what I'm going to wear for tonight just because I haven't worn it yet, so I want to try it out. Hey y'all, happy Friday. So I'm getting ready to take my kids to school and then go to the gym. So this is my section here, this uh, tray up front. Hopefully y'all can see it there. But the fragrance I decided to go with for today is Burberry Her. This is the original Burberry Her. I've had it for a while. It's one of those fragrances that I kind of feel like 
I'm over. <laughs> so it is my mission to use this up this year. But anyway, it's still, I still like it. I just don't ever really get excited about it. Um, and I kind of want the elixir instead. But anyway, this is a airy kind of strawberry scent, but like fake synthetic strawberry, but in a good way. It's very fun, playful, flirty, great for hot weather. And I decided to wear this to the gym today because it was on my tray and I felt like it wouldn't be offensive. And I was thinking about wearing, <laughs> let me show y'all what fragrance I was going to wear. So I was thinking about wearing this because it's on my tray. This is the musk from Essential Parfums, but I don't know if y'all remember that last time I wore this to the actual gym with my trainer, he told me I smelled like a church lady. I think he meant it as a compliment, but now <laughs> I don't want to wear it around him again. <laughs> so I decided to go for Burberry Her. So yeah, this is my fragrance for this part of the day. Hey y'all, it's still Friday. I just showered for the day and, the fr and I started out by applying this body oil from Saltair. This is a Santal Bloom body oil. Smells like a light sandalwoody type scent. So I decided to start out with this. And we actually finished all the sections in my collection. So I'm actually back at my fragrance tray um, because that was first to start out. So we're back over here. And the fragrance I decided to wear for today is Oud Wood from Tom Ford. This is a spicy, um, woody scent, but it's not too difficult to understand. Although there's an Oud note in here, I find it to be quite smooth and almost um, creamy in a way. And I think there's some other woods mixed in with this, but I decided to go for this because it's rainy today. So I wanted something, you know, a little thicker. And then I also have a meeting today and I felt like this fit the vibe of the meeting. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I am going to be wearing for today. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. So the fragrance I'm wearing for today is Suspiro Maraschino. And I'm not going to talk about how it smells. I actually just finished filming my first impression of this fragrance. This will be getting a dedicated review, a love, like, or let down. So I filmed the first impression portion just now. But if you want to know more about this fragrance, hopefully it will be the next video you see on my channel. <laughs> If not the next video, then it'll be coming up soon, y'all. But anyway, this is what I'm wearing today to test it out. Also, I'm getting ready to go to a kid's birthday party, so I felt like this was going to be a good choice because of the name. It's Maraschino, like Maraschino Cherry. So this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey, y'all. It's Saturday night, and I'm getting ready to go out um, to dinner and then to an, a birthday celebration for one of our friends. So tonight I'm wearing Tarot by Nishane. This is kind of like a spicy, slightly nutty tone tonka bean caramel scent it's actually been on my fragrance tray um and this is my first time wearing it in a while so yeah this is what i decided to go for tonight because i felt like it would be nice since we'll be outside this will kind of float in the air is my thought so yeah this is what i'm wearing for tonight so that was my fragrance week and of course it was amazing i do have three standout fragrances to share with you this week and this week they're all for good reasons so i love that for us now for this particular week i decided to film this outro standout fragrance portion on Friday because that's when I have time. Also, I knew that the fragrances I was gonna wear on Saturday wouldn't be included because I knew what I was wearing Saturday morning. And when I do my Saturday night fragrance, every time I do one of these videos, I never include it because it's too late for me to get it edited and uploaded and all that. So anyway, <laughs> um, Saturday's fragrances are not included in the running for the standouts, but let's get into these standouts. So the first one is this one, and this is Jejambra Petalent from Versace. This is a new fragrance to me, so this is my first time wearing it this week, and I'm in love, y'all. I am in love. I think if you like Baccarat Rouge 540 and you like ginger, you will definitely like this. Um, it does have the BR540 DNA, and I find that's the easiest way to explain it, that sweet kind of airy, saffrony type scent, but it doesn't smell exactly the same, so I feel like if you have BR540 and you don't want something that's redundant, maybe still try this, because I found that when I wore it, it smelled less like 540 than it does like just smelling it like this or on paper and I felt like the ginger just really warmed up on my skin and I just felt really nice wearing this I feel like I'll be able to wear this one year round it wasn't too heavy but it definitely had a presence to it so that was the first standout the second standout fragrance that I have is from Zerjoff and this is Starlight so this is my cardamom bomb but it's so sweet it's so cozy Yes, I know I have flowers in my hair. My daughter just bought these to me. <laughs> but this is, this fragrance is so sweet. It's so cozy. I love it. It's been a while since I wore it. And I wore it, um, where did I go? 
I don't quite remember where I went, but I do remember getting a compliment. I remember going in a grocery store at some point. I don't know if I went anywhere else that day, but I know at the grocery store I got a compliment because somebody was helping me at one of the counters in the grocery store. And when she handed me uh, my food, she was like, oh my gosh, you smell amazing. <laughs> And I hadn't even reached out to her yet. So she probably smelled it already and just decided to say something when we were kind of face to face. But I thought that was a really nice compliment because I never really find this to smell super strong in my opinion. Like I can smell it, but it doesn't smell super strong. So it was nice to get a compliment. And also I felt like I could smell it more this time around. Maybe it had something to do with the weather. I don't know, but I did really enjoy wearing this. So that is again, Zerzhov Starlights. And then my last standout, I actually don't have the bottle for because I gotta be honest with y'all, I got completely mixed up. So I pulled this out as a standout, but then I remember that I actually got a compliment on this last week. So y'all will hear about this when I talk about my fragrance tray for the month, but this is Psyche from Quince Canto. However, <laughs> That didn't count for this week, so I pulled the wrong bottle down. So I'm not going to show you the bottle, but the fragrance, the third the third fragrance that I want to choose as a standout would be Happy Nuts from Born to Stand Out. So I'll pop a picture up, but that fragrance is a nutty, sweet fragrance, and I wore it to bed the other night, and I did get a compliment on it from my husband, even though I don't always count his compliments, but um, I... I did get a compliment on it and furthermore I fully enjoy wearing it like I felt like I smelled so delicious but not childlike like it just smelled so good it was perfect for bedtime and um yeah that's my third standout for the week so those were my fragrances for the week I really enjoyed doing my fragrances this way this week it kind of let me wear some new stuff it kind of just look at my collection I've kind of rearranged some stuff so I felt like this was good for me so if you try any of the fragrances I talked about let us know what you think of in the comments below and also in the comments let us know what was your one standout fragrance over the past week if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel new videos here every Sunday Wednesday and Friday so I have tons of content also make sure you check out my website check out my Instagram check out my TikTok all the links for all the products and all my social media will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.